Hello everyone. Hello. <laughs> um. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Bye. Okay, there we go. <laughs> nice trim deck. It's being slow in the uptake. I love how Kari instantly goes like, oh, I hate that. Hello, <laughs> hey, 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 there, who's here? Early. Cat and Lap, hello. Always can count in the early arrivers. <laughs> how are you doing, guys? Why is Twitch again telling me my bit rate? It's, it's bullshit and it's unstable. I really feel like Twitch should, should fix their shit. I had headphones on, so it was right in my ears. Understandable, and mine too, because I put them so I can... I put the thing so I can listen to myself. So I do I do hear myself as well. I was replying to Maple about the car thingy. Hey, Bell Hunt! <laughs> but yeah. A bit of an early start, because as I said on Twitter, I am waking up early tomorrow. <laughs> I don't want to go... I don't want to go too late. You got a Bluetooth hat? Huh. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I need to eat. Interesting. Bluetooth. Bone conductive speakers should be breathed my head and others can't hear. That sounds almost like witchcraft. <laughs> Interesting, truly. But yeah, so the plan for today is... I have my PS5 on. We're gonna do the... Horizon Forbidden West epilogue that I didn't want to do last time because I was late and I was tired. Hey, Lou, and I needed to go to bed. Uh, but it turns out that it's, it's literally just the dialogue with silence, apparently. And looking back on it, I should have looked it up. Uh, last, last. When was it that I did? Last Tuesday that I played Horizon? Looking back on things, I should have looked it up then. Uh, and be like, oh, it's just a dialogue and doing it right there and then. But I didn't. So here we are now. <laughs> here, just for some dialogue. So, yeah, I mean, there's side quests that I could do, but I'm just going to get the the epilogue and then and then just switch to, to Honkai and then I'm going to get the epilogue that we that that we are gonna do now and stitch it onto the previous board, so it's just gonna be one one thing, one view, one board on YouTube for the ending. Sorry, I keep looking at Discord to see if Maple is telling me something else. <laughs> About the car thingy. But anyway, that is that is the plan. That is the plan. So Yeah, sorry, I'm kinda brain dead. <laughs> 
I've been streaming a bit too much, I feel. I don't really have conversation topics anymore. <laughs> but I wanna I wanna go I, I wanna go through things. Oh no, mods get that bot. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I got plans. <laughs> Go to stream price. <laughs> Thank you, Kat. Also, they had a very interesting username. Oh <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I was planning on doing, you know, finishing the Horizon epilogue and then moving on to Genshin since it's all in the PS5. But Genshin decided to have maintenance today, so that that, that can that can be done. <laughs> so 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 Honkai Impact is <laughs> when I literally want to get a drink, the course will never be broken. Cat can't escape. Genshin, why? Why indeed? How dare they? How dare they? Going to maintenance just as I'm about to actually with, to pick it up again. <laughs> well, yeah, make some. I have to make some progress because next week, next week I'm not gonna have a for Ethi. Next week, I have plans. <laughs> I mean, I don't have as many plans. Uh... Sorry, I'm slow. <laughs> but yeah, next week, I already have my, uh, my, like, my entire next week plan already. <laughs> if you want if you guys want a sneak peek i'm gonna be playing girl of the bakehouse with hakuya well more 999 with coco as always on thursday i'm not gonna do anything because it's my birthday and probably my entire family is gonna call me at some point so i need, I need to be ready for that <laughs> And then on Friday, I'm gonna do an actual, my actual like quote unquote birthday stream. It's not gonna be like a big celebration or, or anything, but like if people wanna send me things or like chat with me, I'll just leave it open. I'm just gonna be assembling the Sonic Lego that my sister got me for my birthday last year. <laughs> and then on the weekend, it's gonna be the usual and also reverse collapse because it's finally finally coming out. So yeah, next week it's also gonna be full... full of fox. Not as well as today, I mean this week I guess since I'm having... I'm getting... I'm having Thursday off. But still. <sighs> but anyway, it is time. <laughs> time. I can't. I, I can't believe I did. I I should have looked it up last time. <laughs> oh my god! It's the man, the myth, the lion, El Terror Porteño. He's here now. The course is broken once again. Thank you for the follow. But anyway, let's do that. Let's get let's get Horizon over and done with. By the way, at, any, at, at some point, I'm gonna probably put a poll on Twitter to see which of my other backlog games I continue to, until I finish in between all of my gachas. But anyway, enough bubbling around. I don't have that much time, so let's go. And there goes the alert again.
some days, someday, I'll actually look look up why that happens and fix it. But today is not that day. Full screen projector, continue. Those shorts are fire. With Long Ride defeated and the Quen Fleet's future assured. Never mind. But yeah, basically, I, it's it's funny too because you know last time when I was playing and you know like right after, right after, you know I, I the the game dropped me here and like nothing much happened. And so I'm like, okay, it's done after you know after the credits and uh, as soon as I you know I saved and as soon as I jumped out of the game to the back to the chatting screen I get some dialogue from silence being like hey hello like you know come talk to me and I was like what the fuck and then I get the mission the mission thing you like you got a new mission and I was like are you for real so here it is epilogue uh we learned defeated and the Quen fleet's future assured Eloy must return to the base Silence has uncovered something from Londra's data that could help against Nemesis. So I guess that's where we're going. But we're gonna fast travel over there to the base. Uh, 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 there. I see what this man wants. Stay alert, soldier. Thank you. Not to mention it is the last time we'll get to listen to uh, Lance Riddick. 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 Bam, bam, bam. All right. I could probably also go... Where was... Where was my man's tomb? I have to look it up. Maybe I have some dialogue with all my other friends. Anyone here? This place is surprisingly empty. Hello? Where is everyone? <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone gone? There's Gwen stuff in here now. Must be all of us. Gation impact updated. Did I read that at some point? I probably did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Thanks, Gation. Really cool. What are what are the chances that uh, my maintenance ends in like the next thirty minutes? <laughs> Welcome back, Aloy. Oh, there's Beta. Where the fuck is she? Or she is? Is she the only one here? There's always a first time, I guess I could try opening the game <laughs> after I'm done with this and then I, then, and, and I do Honkai on Thursday. These are not new, right? You know, I should have them if they're in the base. Everybody dipped, like for real. Where's everyone? 
No, actually, these are new. Burning Shore Companions. Not a corruption minimal. My sister's going to LA. I said that it won't be the 21st century starts so at Hollywood. I have says over for my sixth favorite episode of Second Time Around, season 4 finale, when Gail asks Benito to marry her on the Walk of Fame. See her cry every time. But instead of post apocalyptic, machine infested, earthquake ravaged archipelago of doom. Far responsible for the apocalypse. At least machines are there to clean up the mess. The regiment notwithstanding. But I was at a loss as, as to when all that tectonic act activity occurred. Definitely not before 2000, 2065. 2065, or I will have seen something about it in Tilda's media trope. So I asked Gaia and she bit bombed me with a thousand years of seismic data for the Calmarine region. It looked like the big one, fire hit around 2150, but it was more like a series of big ones, periodically racking the San Andreas, San Gregorio Hostry and Hayward Rogers Falls for nearly six decades. There were aftershocks all over the West too, affecting a number of cauldrons, including Gemini. Good thing it was all pre-tribal. Glad no one had to suffer through it. It's been quieter since, though there are occasional tremors, and post-activity has opened a number of magma fissures. I don't think Ellie has to worry about getting caught on us in a significant quake. Rogue Machines and Vegetable Senates, on the other hand. Uh-oh, better reset, starting to feel anxious. Of the thing here is a good sign at least, but only thing with generous it should end in two hours. Come on, Hoya. Do it for the streamer. Do it for the streamer that is not up to date. Come on, Hoyo, you know you want to. But yeah, apparently the data points are new, so I guess I'll have to go pick up the, the other one I saw and that I kind of ignored. Ever since the expedition landed and we encountered barbarians, sorry, Tenact, a question has been gnawing at me. Given the massive distance between here and the Great Delta, how is it possible that we all speak the same language? I mean, the legacy tells us that the ancestors had many languages. How did it all get reduced to one? For questions like this, it's handy to have a friendly super intelligence around. I love Gaia. She's so nice and patient. Even when I can't stop talking and bombard her with overlapping queries. And while she can't explain everything I ask her, for this one, she got the answer. Apparently, the Zero Dawn system was designed to release people into the world as young adults. After being educated via the Apollo database, I sort of wish I could have, could have gone to that school. Language instruction was supposed to be a big part of the coursework. The students were to be encouraged to learn many languages, thus keeping alive the vibrant linguistics of the old world. But when Ted Faro erased Apollo, he makes me so mad. Zero Dawn reverted to its default language, and that's all the kids in the crowd of facilities ever got. So our ancestors, I mean, our tribal ones, not the legacy ones, all started with the same speech and never got to learn anymore. My series solved. Yet another, another rotten, completely unfair thing that shithead, beg my pardon, did to the world. Alba. I love Alba. How this, Sunny? There was another one. Uh, I think it was uh, back here. Question mark. Huh. I'm sure I saw another. Wait, what is there? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, yeah, no, I think there's not another one. <laughs> I 
All right, let's just... What's this? A start new game plus? Oh. Hephaestus Revisited. So, we'll niche Hephaestus on the silent printer matrix to whip up an army of machines to fight the specters. And it worked. Great. But doing so meant we had to release F, F, F back into the wilds, where it will continue to be a major problem. Not so great. A little analysis slash prognostication. Bad news first. F will undoubtedly retreat back to the Colder Network and it will undoubtedly attempt to fulfill the same malignant mission it has pursued since gaining sentience. Protect the terraforming system from predation by manufacturing combat machines to kill human hunters. Even worse, it will probably be stronger than ever before. Contact with the Senate network will likely have supercharged it, giving it access to new technologies, tools, and upgrades. And because it can learn and write itself, there's no way it will fall for the same trick that defeated it before. So recapturing it at Coldron Gemini is a non-starter. But there are some silver linings. Even though the merge with Gaia was aborted, she was able to copy over some of the original health codebase. On top of that, Silent has extracted some extremely helpful data from the Senate copy of Apollo. Combined, these developments should enable Gaia to exert significantly more influence over the terraforming system. She won't be able to take direct control of machines or stop Hef from building combat units. But she estimates that by deploying a variety of workarounds, she can stabilize the biosphere within a year. So we won't all die. At least not before Nemesis arrives. Yay! In addition, since she now has some of F's source code, we should be able to develop new strategies to contain it. It'll take time, of course. But round two is coming, F. And next time, I'll be ready for you. Beta. Oh. What is that? Well, now I know where Metal Flowers come from. Oh. Last ditch effort to stop the Pharaoh Plague. Demeter must have started distributing them after it took refuge in the greenhouse. So like good news. <laughs> we get to live long enough to see a killer alien robot. Let's go! Is this the exit that takes me to... There is somewhere I want to go. Before going to talk to Silence. Ah yes, here it is. My man! My man! Hey, Varla, I'm, I'm sorry I haven't visited sooner. I guess I have a lot to catch you up on. After rescuing Beta and Gaia, I tracked down the last Zenith. Took down a horse he brought to life. I met someone too. Seika. Had a lot of ups and downs, but I couldn't have stopped Londra without her. She's a. Uh, she's really special. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I never thought I'd feel this way about someone. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if we'll ever be anything more, but um, for now, it's enough. No farewell. How do? What do you mean? Will you say anything else if I see you sit there? No. <laughs> Bar, my boy. Anything new down here? Ah. Which one was he? He was our our friendo, our friendo that got stabbed. Hey, Cody. 
I guess Beta's keeping this door unlocked, though. Oh. This must be Beta's room. Hey, you? The guy who lost his arm? Oh, no, he's fine. No, Bar was the one... The one that had a thing with the other with the other girl, and that they're like she's actually pregnant and everything, and then he he went to help us in the Hephaestus mission, and and he got stabbed by a laser beam. He got stabbed by one of the Senate guys. Huh. What's this? Let's spy on Beta's personal life. On the Regional Control Center. The more I read up on the Regional Control Center, the more I appreciate the immense amount of planning that went into Project Zero Dawn. But one aspect of this facility has me puzzled. Why well, pre-design it? Gaia was more than equipped to imagine the needs of future humans. While I have four working hypotheses, the answer may be the simplest, sentimentality. Coming through the facility's files led to the discovery of an audio log, severely corrupted, likely a consequence of Minerva's occupation. I only managed to extract a fragment. August was only eight when the swarm broke out. He was in Singapore, staying with his mom. I should have gone. I should have done a lot of things differently. A log from the facility's designer, perhaps. I suspect it may have something to do with the locked door tucked away behind the maintenance shaft. But I am disinclined to pursue the matter further at this time. Aloy and Gaia wanted me to help build the transport rig and pulse generators for the, their trip to Gemini. So I must direct all of my attention to that. I hope it's not a pointless endeavor. It all depends on whether Eloy can procure Terfaro's Omega clearance. Which, frankly, feels like a long shot. If you were listening to this, then, um, things didn't go as planned at Gemini. I know you'll keep your promise. Which means I must be dead. Oh, right. Well, that sounds familiar, doesn't it? But, uh, what's happened since you found me in that ectogenic chamber? Thank you, Eloy. You've been... my shelter. And I would risk it all again. To be by your side. Eee. I know you'll find a way forward. That's what you do. I did, Beta. And now we're together again. <laughs> Babies. What's this? Huh. The door's unlocked now. There's more machinery in here. Huh. It might have had something to do with the facility's operations. Looks like a power cell could fit here. If only I had a power cell. Oh, hold. I've got to be more careful. Jensen almost caught onto my plan while we were going over the diagnostic center specs. I've got nothing against the rest of the team. It, it's just... I'm sure they've all got family. They're gonna meet up with in Elysium. But me? I couldn't even bury August. There is nothing of him left besides my memories. I won't let those blink out of existence, too. The vault's for us, no one else. Eleven more weeks before we lock the blueprints. Then the rest will be up to Gaia. Oh. Is that another room in the facility? Okay, I need a power cell. Where can I get power cell? Doku. Oh, there's another one. Eloy and Gaia want me to help figure out how to capture Hephaestus. I'd put chances of success at about nil point zip, but I might as well give it a thing because 1. Without Hef's ability to make machines, 
the Senate will have us at their mercy, and two, what else am I going to do? As always, the first step is to outline the problem. Like the other subordinate functions, F achieved quasi-sentience when Gaia received the signal from Sirius. And when Gaia blew herself up to stop Hades, F fled, looking for a new home. But unlike the other sun functions, which, which seem to have taken refuge in whatever physical processors they could find, have hidden the globe spanning network that connects all the corners in the world. Maybe because no single processor was large enough to contain it? Or because it taught out the code environment it was most familiar with? Regardless, becoming a ghost in the network enabled it to pursue its twisted new mission, infiltrate cauldron production facilities, build combat units, and deploy them against humans, all in an effort to protect terraforming machines from tribal hunters. Escalation ensues, as hunters become adept at neutralizing its killing machines, Health makes more, bigger, better armed, deadlier. But this is a digression. For our purposes, the main point is that Hef isn't in one place, so Elle can't simply find it and use the master override to contain it in the Gaia kernel like Ether, Demeter, or Poseidon. It can flee to any cauldron at any time. Ergo, we've got to trap it somehow, probably in a cauldron core, and cut off its access to the network. But how? As of this writing, I have literally no clue. To make matters worse, the data that Gaia provided seems to indicate that Hef is changing. The exact methodology isn't clear to me, but its codebase has expanded. That's bad news. For one thing, it could mean that its heuristic density is increasing, which will make it harder for Gaia to absorb. But even worse, it implies that Hef has the ability to rewrite itself, or at least parts of itself, which is terrifying. What if it rewrote its access protocols? That would mean... I don't even want to think about it. Oh. 5 am gang, hey, why are you awake so early? I mean, that's the time I need to wake up tomorrow, so... It's so, the so, so, so same, I guess. Okay, I need a... I need a... I need a power cell. Is there anywhere I can get a power cell? Part of the facility. That door is locked. Oh. Man, they can't give me a puzzle. Like, now. How dare they? Can I sleep in a hospital? Where are you in a hospital? How dare you? Where, where does this go? here already I think it looked like I was I am venting there's a thing there but that's to charge a battery Ah ha ha ha! Ah ha 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 ha! Console has power now. Woohoo! He looks at this data. The first has tried multiple. Oh. Times to hack into the repair bay. But doesn't look like it succeeded. Okay, but where's the code for the door? I wanted the code for the door. I 
feel robbed. Where does this take me? Oh yeah, it takes me back up here. Right, let's talk to Beta. You did it! You actually defeated a reactivated Horus! Uh, are you hurt? A anything broken? I'm fine, Beta. I hope you never have to face another one. Oh. Alright. Thanks. Where's the code? Oh, this is the other one. I've been tackling the design of the Ag Lab. Place is gonna have a lot of seed stock to work with. My favorite? Sample 626. Calotropis gigantea. 626. Crown flower. We used to have one in our backyard. Butterflies always fluttering around. Every morning, August would run out there to check under the leaves. See if any caterpillars turned into chrysalises. Now, I'd like to imagine that the future will be filled with them. Aww. You're gonna face another one now? No, it's the ending. We, we can't. Okay, Simon seems to be in there, so let me just go back down. Where's where's the down door again? This is not the down door. That is the up door. Okay, let's just jump. It's fine, it's just a small fall. Okay, now... Uh, not here. Where is here? Go into the vent. Oh, there's another up there. What? This actually takes me out? What? Where is this taking me? And why? And should I be should I be coming up here? Take this to a dyer later. I don't think I was supposed to do that. Well, it looks like I can climb up. I'm like, I think I... I think I remember. I think I remember this. Oh, 
I mean, so I'm just gonna go back. Or should I? I think I remember climbing all this, but I don't remember what for. It's been a while. Just a nice view. Anyway, let's go back in. And actually look for the thing that I want to look for. <laughs> here through there and ah, here is a door that asks for a code I'm guessing I need to find more. What if I just look it up? Maybe I'll just look it up. <laughs> maybe, maybe. The door needs a code. Maybe there's data in the facility that can help. Uh, Horizon. Forbidden West Base Code. Nine six two six one one eight. Okay, so the six two six was correct. Where did we get all the other numbers from? I don't know. Well, let's see. Nine six two six one one eight. This from the designer dude, probably. What is this place? Ooh. Got to be honest, I don't really know what to say to the future. So I guess I'll say something to the past instead. Mom, Dad, I know you'll never hear this, but I wanted to say thank you. For all those times you dragged me along as a kid to volunteer at Hot Zone Relief Centers. You used to say, you have to pay it forward. The future will always be brighter, Fern. I'm trying to live up to your example. I love you. We'll be together again soon. <laughs> Damn. The day I was supposed to meet my sister's new baby. A vert swooped in, and a crew of mass commandos threw a bag over my head. Next thing I knew, I was being told how the world would end, and given a choice. Die now, or help Zero Dawn and die later. 
At least Nicole, Ella, and baby Aiden will be safe in Elysium. Gave up my allotment to make sure they could stay together. I don't know if any of this will actually work. Zero Dawn, cradle raised humans. But if it does, do better than we did, okay? Damn. Do, do I see now? Okay. My name is Emma Irvin, and I'm eight years old. And my favorite animal is a fox. <gasps> do you have foxes in the future? Yes. I hope so. They're the cutest. And super smart. This girl knows what's Dad up. That's we have to go underground soon. She's like a fox. And then the bad robots won't get us. So, I guess this is H and G. Hi and goodbye. Oh, that was cute. Thank you. I almost gifted her. Thank you for the gift sub. Thank you, thank you. The last time I spoke to Leanna, they were just about to ship out to the Pacific Front. They really believed that if they could buy us some time, it'd be worth it. <sighs> that Zero Dawn would save us. But if you were listening to this, then they were right. It was worth it. Their name was Leanna Jensen. 9th Civilian Guard Brigade for Operation Enduring Victory. And they were so, so brave. Damn. So, yeah, I told the rest of the team. I was standing in the cafeteria, trying to pick out a god-awful meal cartridge when it suddenly hit me. Every school field trip, August always asked me to pack extra in his lunch bag so that he could share it with his friends. Uh -huh. I don't know how I was lucky enough to end up with kids so generous. And I know he'd want to share this, too. So, to uh, whoever finds this place, this was us. Aww. I'm not crying, you are. What's up, Reggie? Don't put your butt on my face. Talk to silence now. I think we saw everything. So maybe we can talk to Gaia. Anything new to say, Gaia? Welcome back, Eli. Oh yeah, let's return the, the drone thingies. There we go. More data for the dome. Woohoo! Still missing two. Doesn't seem like she has new dialogue, so let's just move on to silence. Reggie! You go. Thank you for the eye trade. Oh, 
Alright, and up she comes again. All right, Silence, what's up? You're back. And after mingling with the Quen, I imagine that you're eager for some intelligent conversation. Damn! Some pretty special people among the Quen. If you drop down to Earth once in a while and did a little mingling yourself, you might realize that. Sheesh! I have more important matters to deal with. Like the data you recovered from Londra. You found a lead. Indeed. A log entry he wrote shortly after the Zeniths escaped the destruction of their colony. I'll send it to you. There is much to unpack, but most importantly, Londra theorizes about how Nemesis might be countered. His musings include a list of 21st century corporations that manufactured state-of-the-art weapon systems. Ooh. It's possible that one of these weapons could be deployed against the enemy. I'll, I'll have to investigate each company, of course. Locate their facilities, unearth their technologies, determine their efficacy, and whether they can be brought back. Why did you fall so bad? What could be so <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I just I I I, I drop Reggie to the to the ground, you know, like I craft her and just kinda let her fall into the floor. But for some reason she didn't fall on her feet. So I was like, what? Are you okay? <laughs> By yourself, huh? Well... Don't get me wrong, I'm glad you found something that can help. But I've been wondering why you stayed behind with us. That's the challenge, isn't it? The chance to prove you've got the biggest brain of all. Biggest brain. My reasons are mine alone. And that's why you'll always be alone. Ooh! Aloy, Nemesis is not a threat that can be defeated single-handedly. I am grateful for your extraordinary contributions. <gasps> Did he actually thank us for once in these two games? Unbelievable. Oh, silence. We might thaw that icy heart of yours yet. And now let's see what he found. Oh yeah, where's the data point? Dagger in my bow, in my boot. First unlock the Odyssey, January 16, 30, 12. The last 72 hours were catastrophic. Reggie? The last 72 hours were catastrophic, to say the least. Even more dramatic than my final days on Earth. I'm fortunate enough no, I'm fortunate to finally have a moment to settle down and take a stack of the situation. First, I will deserve pat on the back for my own instincts. It's clear now that my misgivings about the experiment are the only thing that kept me alive. If I hadn't gotten an early warning from the surveillance warning installed, I undoubtedly would have perished shortly after the containment breach. How, I can only conjecture. Many were lost when the entity entered the airlocks. Others were strung by hacked specters. David Miller choked on his own vomit, suffocated by his personal shield. As disturbing as all that is, it's the voice of the entity that echoes in my mind. I felt a brief surge of hope when I managed to detonate the main plasma conduit in the lab sector. But just as I realized other sectors had been compromised, my implant reverberated with the transmission. First, it sounded like my own voice. Then a chorus. Then a hideous cacophony. Walter, I am you over and over again. It knew I was going to hit the conduit. How do we stay ahead of our own shadow, that which remembers every thought we've ever had? For now, we run. We have to retrofit the ship as we go, acquiring materials along the way to print a faster drive. I agree with Tilda. We must head for Earth, as it's the only place we can gather additional technology and biomass to improve our chances over the long haul. 
Though I'll be damned if I'll spend the rest of eternity trapped with the likes of Gerard Bieri, Eric Visser, and Verbena Sutter. Sooner rather than later, I'll have to find a way to cut ties with this detestable crew. All that said, I keep hearing its voice in my head, and when I do, a singular fear grips me. What if it catches up with us? Is there any way to fight it? Not with the tools we have now. It knows them too well. But maybe the answer lies in the unknown, back in the ruins of Earth. The 2050s and 2060s were a golden age for defense conglomerates. Surely, buried among all those testing grounds and air and deal labs, there must be a weapon or prototype that will throw the enemy for a loop. It bears looking into. Off the top of my head, some places to start. FAS. I doubt even a fleet of Horus units could halt, could halt this fool. But if I know Ted, right before he blundered into ending the world, he was grasping for his next blockbuster. Metallurgic. My air squad competitors pour a lot of resources into the fence after it became clear they couldn't beat me in materials acquisition. Recorp. Cheap drones and misfiring railguns from bottom feeders and petty autocrats. But once upon a time, they had a blue chip research division. What's a blue chip? Hey, dog. Certainty. If I recall, they employed quite a few semi reformed black hats with interesting ideas about military decryption. Gideon. An obnoxious family, to be sure, but they developed a number of state-of-the-art systems before FAS ate their lunch. Faint hopes, all of them, but hopes nonetheless. No question, our best course is to stay ahead of the monstrosity, this self-created nemesis. But if flight fails, I'm not going down without a fight, so one way or another, I'll need a dagger in my boot, and our old home is the best place to find one. Silence is right. Andra's thoughts could really help us in the fight against Nemesis. All right, so it seems that that is how they leave everything set up for the next installment. I'm guessing we'll it be going to all these places, trying to look for any prototype or stuff that they left behind that we can use to fight Nemesis as we await its arrival. That's gonna be interesting. I hope we go to more places as well. But, uh, okay, now for real. I actually managed to play this for an hour, amazing. All my running around. So maybe I do leave it as a separate stream. Just a short one, you know, a separate bot, I mean. So I don't have to go through the trouble of... So I don't need to have to go through the trouble of downloading, downloading the video, stitching them together, etc. Cetera, et cetera. More areas like in a new game? Yeah, like they clearly, they clearly left the stuff. They clearly left the stuff. Let me, let me just go back here. Like they clearly left the stuff. Uh, ready for a sequel. But yeah, that was Burning Shores. Now for real, for real. <laughs> good stream. All right, everyone. Good night. Bye. <laughs> oh, let me see if Genshin is done. I doubt it, but <laughs> you never know. What will you guys do if I end a stream now? This early? <laughs> Warning, read before playing. You never know if you don't go, you never shine if you don't glow. Maybe get to eat dinner. How dare you. <laughs> Finish washing my dishes. <laughs> hey now, you're an all star. Got your game on, go play. I know, you're a rock star. Da -na 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 -na. Da -na 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 -na. I don't remember the lyrics. All these shooting stars. 
break the mold. <laughs> A cappella, let's go. <laughs> I mean, on one hand, I'm like, I could just end the stream and sleep early, but uh, but also, but also, I could do something else for like another hour. Mm. Mm. I don't know why, but I can vaguely recall doing a dance routine to it at, at summer camp. <laughs> wow. I don't think I ever did anything like that. I mean, I never, never, never had summer camp, though. What you thinking of doing? I mean, I was planning on doing the epilogue and then jumping on the Honka Impact, but I'm, I'm just checking to see if by any miracle of God, Genshin is done with maintenance and then we'll do that I could do that for a bit and then I pay hon more honka on Thursday or we could just sit here and chat <laughs> better maintenance now <laughs> how dare you Turn on my tenants now. Start game now. Okay. So Honkai is out of the way. I mean, Genshin is out of the question. So I guess we turn off PS5. <laughs> Never went to overnight camps that I did do to came pat. Take day camps. the control and valentine event i know i really want to play honkai i'm just i feel like an hour is so little for me to play something so i'm like yeah is it worth it but yeah i can i mean i can still make some progress probably <laughs> When was the last time you got an extra long sleep? Oh. Oh. Do not tempt me. Do not tempt me like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when was the last time I got an extra long sleep? I mean, the thing is that I probably won't even go to sleep. I'll probably go play Final Fantasy with a friend for a bit. But it's so short! Also valid. Rest of a stream. I mean, I should. I should rest a bit. I've been streaming a lot. I am a bit tired. I am a bit tired and I am streaming all days this week. <laughs> I mean, aside from yesterday. So, I mean, it would be the smart idea, I guess. <laughs> I can't even raid, yeah. 
uh, maple streaming, no? Because yeah, I mean, I was I was thinking the thing is as 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 it happens to me, I got distracted. Yeah, maple streaming. I got distracted because there were like more data points and stuff lying around on the closed door and then was like, ooh, I wanna open that, ooh. So I ended up taking longer than I thought I would with the epilogue, like I was pretty sure. I was pretty sure I would be done with the epilogue in like 20 minutes or less. <laughs> Which... It's what will have happened if I gone if I had gone straight for the dialogue with silence. Which I didn't do. <laughs> Distracted by lore, exactly. Had to go peel up to Vegas for dinner and now his sister is ending. Yeah. yeah. I didn't wanna end, but it's a it's a mix of like I took longer than expected. Um the most I could play for if I jump to another game would be like an hour and I'm the kind of person that feels like playing for an hour is not really it's not really worth that much <laughs> especially on a stream when I'm like because if I was playing on my own it would be fine you know I can read everything but like when I'm reading all the dialogue out loud it's like I feel like no much progress can be made so it's, it's like it's it's I always get that feeling of like Okay, an hour, an hour is not, it's not really worth. And if I go for longer, then I will be going to bed too late. And I do need to wake up at like 5.30am tomorrow. <laughs> we could just chat for an hour, I'm just very out of conversation topics. Because I'm tired and I've been streaming too much. <laughs> I, I've been doing too many, like... Last last week? What was my schedule like last week? I mean, last week I got a normal schedule. But then the week before then... Any concrete merch plans? Yeah. No, there's no new sponsor available. I mean, I can't. I do have some sponsorships I could choose from, but I'm, I'm not gonna do it yet because I'm 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 too busy in what it, it's the rest of the month, which is why I'm like, okay, maybe I should just take this chance and do a short stream for one since I'm plan I plan on streaming every day the rest of this week. And then next week, it's gonna be a bit busy also. I mean, next week it's gonna be a bit more normal. But then the following week, maybe I'll do some more, some extra stuff as well. Thank you for the stretch. Ugh. So I'm like, you know, maybe we could just chat a little bit and then I'll, I'll leave weak normal impossible but because i mean i was actually feeling a bit tired but i was like no i want to stream you know i want to finish i want to progress on my games but now that i'm sitting here in this conundrum i'm like man i will just take this chance and do like you know one short stream in this week full of streams, it's 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 not bad, right? Right, guys, you're gonna see me all week. <laughs> I 
you're gonna see me all week, guys. So, might as well give you give you a small break for today, right? <laughs> I need to let you guys. I need to let. I need to 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 leave you guys some 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 time to miss me, <laughs> right? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's gonna be <laughs> Kuroko Daki. No. No, I'm planning on, <laughs> but we don't want to miss you. The time with me just called the rest of the day. Ah, you guys are so sweet. Some of you are. Some of you are not. <laughs> but yeah, I've been, and I've, I've been having a headache for like three days, so might as well just take this chance and rest. <laughs> but yeah, merch ideas. There's gonna be a desk mat. There will be a desk mat. Done by none other than Mr. Warfakair himself. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for so many streams after catching only repairs 1999 for so long. <laughs> my man out here like, oh my gosh, she plays other games? <laughs> desk mat. Yeah, desk mat. Do you know what a desk mat is? It's a big long, it's a big long mouse pad, yeah. Like a mouse pad that pretty much covers your entire desk. Hence why it's called a desk mat. So there will be a desk mat. Um, the new store is gonna be on fourth wall. By the way, I've been looking at fourth wall and they offer a lot of options and fun stuff, so... New store is gonna be there. The link will be shared once I have it open, actually. Right now, I just made the account and it's it's just sitting there. But there's gonna be a desk mat done by none other than Mr. Warfakite. We actually enter an agreement. Because he was very excited for doing merch, and I'm very excited to have him do merch. So he's gonna he's gonna make me merch. He's gonna make me art for merch, and I'm gonna sell that merch. And and and, and we'll give I'll give him I'll give him part of the money that I made of that merch because he deserves it because he's great. <laughs> Uh, there won't be shirts right away, but he told me he does have ideas for shirt, for shirts. So eventually it will be coming. For now, there will be a there will be a desk mat desk mat for sure. And maybe maybe something. That can be used as a poster. I don't know because he to he told me he has another illustration plan, but he hasn't shown me he hasn't shown me it because it's it was supposed to be a birthday surprise apparently. But like he told me since we kind of started talking about merch and stuff, but he hasn't shown me what it is, so I I I don't know what it might be good for if I decide to like sell it. I'm interested to see if it's the art. I think it might be. Oh, the, the art is not done yet, so. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm gonna send you guys his Twitter. I don't know if you know who I'm talking about, but... Uh... I mean, you should know because I've been getting a lot of art from him. You can go check his media tab and see his amazing work.
but yeah, there's gonna be a desk mat. And uh, probably keychain keychains. Yeah, yeah, him. That pin tweet tells me all I need to know. Hell yeah. That's a lot of booba indeed. I'm probably I'm probably the person with less booba that he draws. <laughs> so yeah, all the art is gonna be made by him for now. And he sent me a few concepts that I'm not gonna share because I'm too lazy to get them off Discord. Uh, but yeah, they could be. The idea is to make them keychains. He told me these are keychains ideas. Uh, I might share them later when they're like cleaner. She, she, she just sent me a, a bunch of sketches. The kitchen side don't know if they'll be available right away because I'm not entirely sure yet if I'll do the ones with uh, with fourth wall or if I use the manufacturer that Maple is using. And that will require a bit more a bit more preparation. But uh, they're they're coming. Also, I don't know if they'll be available right away. But they're coming. But the desk, the desk mat is real. The desk mat is cool. It's real and coming. Uh, the idea is to have them up for around my birthday, around the end of the month or something like that. But yeah, there's there's gonna there's not gonna be much stuff at first, but more more things will come, more things will come. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, stickers probably also as well. What is Kuroko print pajamas? Don't give me ideas. <laughs> but I can promise a desk mat for sure, for sure, for sure. But yeah, I wanna I wanna have the desk mat at the very least this month. Uh, as I said, as kind of a celebration for my birthday slash VTuber anniversary. Because for those that do not know, I had my I had my my debut on YouTube just last year, but I've been actually streaming as a VTuber, just with different models, for like three years now. Or has it been two years? I'm very bad with the passage of time. But like, yeah, two or three years. It's been a while. <laughs> so yeah, I want to have uh, some new stuff. I might ask also, because I got some cute art to use as a Discord Fugi. You'll probably see it uh, if you go by Coco's stream tomorrow when we're playing 999. And I might actually add it because it's it's absolutely adorable. I mean, I actually retweeted it. Right? I retweeted. No, 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 not the dead kuru. No, it's the one I retweeted. Uh, like yesterday or two days ago. The like the chibi one that's like on the sitting. Yeah, 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 yeah. I might actually, because she's also a friend, I might actually ask her, see like, hey, like, you know, how much for commercial rights? And maybe do some merch with that. And maybe also something with the logo. Do you know the logo that appears? The one that has a fox face? 
you want to show sap when I when I switch to my game screen? I don't remember if I had commercial rights for those. I'm gonna ask, but if I do, I might do some you know some simple stuff with the logo, with the logos. But there will be more elaborate merch coming. So. So stay tuned. Even after I open the store, you know, I'll keep the ideas to keep adding stuff. And there's probably going to be, you know, like permanent stuff. Like the desk mat is going to be there permanently, more like most likely. So like, don't worry if you can't get it right away. But other stuff, like when, whenever we order from like... Um, we found, I mean, Maple gave me the manufacturer she's using, as I said, for like the keychains and all that. So whenever we order stuff from that, it's probably also going to be like limited runs. Or limited stock, depending on how I, how I do it. So that's, our, those are not going to be always there. But yes, <laughs> merch incoming at long last. New merch. New merch with the new design. Woohoo! Go buy two of each, got it. <laughs> I might do. Whenever I do it, I might try to do like an interest check or something to like have an idea of how many to order. Like I could probably order a bit more. Just in case. Yeah, <laughs> Fox the autograph version. I I would kind of like to do stuff like that, but I don't. I wouldn't know how to go about it. Also, I don't really have a signature, so I will. We'll need to start from there. <laughs> I just write my name in different ways. That that's it. Signature. <laughs> but yeah, that will be something fun. But maybe for the future, because I honestly have no idea how I could how I could do it. I have no clue the logistics. Of why I will do that to like then ship it because I will need to like have it shipped to me and then like ship to the warehouse I guess but that's kind of a pain and there ha I rather have it shipped directly to the warehouse like if I ship it to myself I'd rather ship it myself but I don't know how I will ship it myself to not dox myself Oh yeah, extremely. I might actually, I might actually look into that. Live stream autographs. Do they do only prints? But for those, you need to stream those on there, don't you? Choose any product. Oh. Oh, I, I mean, I, yeah, it could be. Probably not right now because I'm already I'm already struggling to with thinking about the 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 fourth wall setup, but but eventually, eventually, it could it could happen. They can do a few different services, but mainly middle money and some merch signings and shipping to and from. 
Yeah, so that I guess it works like, like, you know, I get an account and I say what stuff I have to sign and like then they sell it and people buy it there and then like I sign it. I sign it on there and then I ship it to them and they ship it to, to people that bought it. So, you know, it, it is something, it is something I could look into at a later date. Because it will be fun. As I said, I just also will need to come up with, uh, with a, with a signature, I guess. <laughs> or I guess, I mean, also people can be like, oh, well, you know, what do you want me to write? But it, it could be an idea. Do you should set up live signing a stream, but it, it isn't like necessary? Huh. It could be an idea, especially because we were talking with, with Warfa about making like postcards, something like something like postcards. So that those could be fun to have sign or like have a little message in there. Like, because also, I, I guess when you buy it on stream on the streamily, it will tell me like you know, who bought it, so I can actually write, like, their name. Like, truly personalized, not, like, just me signing stuff and sending it at random. So in most bad t-shirts, posters, and big stands, custom messages are purchased and special requests. Ah... Okay, so yeah, it is something that could happen eventually. I don't know how soon, but uh, but yeah, it sounds like fun. It sounds like something I'd like to do at some point. Also, <laughs> um, well, I think we're planning. Or like we like to do with Warf at some point. <laughs> this is gonna be so funny considering how much I laugh. We kind of laugh, poke fun at face for it. But Fordwell, Fordwell offers coffee blends. <laughs> and we were like, hey, yo. Hey, yo, the Kuru coffee. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we were like, okay, but what if? Imagine a mug, a mug, matching mug and coffee set. <laughs> yeah, they offer, they offer jewelry also on, on plushies. But those require a minimum order, so... But the coffee, man. <laughs> I was like, hey, yo, coffee. <laughs> they also have shoes, like, they have a bunch of stuff, so... Bunch of merch incoming, slowly but surely. I said, the first thing I can promise for sure, for sure, is a desk mat. I'm gonna put some other stuff in there also. I don't know what yet. Probably, as I said, probably stickers. Merch! Hey, look! Look who's here! It's the one and only! <laughs> He's doing it right now. That reminds me I need to do something. Uh where was it? He 
roles manager. There we go. He gets a special artist role because he deserves it. <laughs> but yeah, hey everyone, if you like, if you like, if you like what you saw, you saw, you saw his Twitter. <laughs> I'm artist, it's a pleasure to, pleasure to meet you. <laughs> you know, I send you, I, I send you guys his Twitter. You know, you know, you should maybe commission him, you know, <laughs> wing, wing, notch, notch. The art smith. Yeah. The man, the myth, the legend. Hey, PCU. You're late, but not late enough to meet the artist. <laughs> Everyone should absolutely throw money at him. <laughs> quality service, quality art, just all around, 10 out of 10. Put a bunch of whoops in the DM. Let's go! <laughs> I was just talking about about like the, the merch plans. I mean, not giving much detail, but but yeah, I did speak about the Kuru Coffee, the future, <laughs> the future. The future is now. Ah. But anyway, it is happening, guys. It is coming. I can't give you a date, but it is coming. But yeah, they have like a bunch of stuff. They have like beanies, hoodies, a classic dad hat, I see. Shirts, joggers, cardigan, crop hoodies, sweatshirts. So, you know, cool pajamas are not entirely out of the question. I wear the classic mouse pad stickers, mugs. I could <laughs> pajama, somebody, so someone asks about it. <laughs> Someone mentioned Kuru pajamas, and I was like, you know what? It is, it is possible. It is not impossible. <laughs> they have notebooks, tumblers, Christmas stockings, <laughs> candles. It's it's kind of insane the amount of stuff they have. More pants, men's leggings, pillows, backpacks, denim jacket, laptop sleeve, fanny packs, aprons, like cooking aprons. Shoes. 
wall calendars, flip flops. Bikini bottoms, tote bags, pin buttons, more more type of hats and shirts and hoodies. A life size crew blanket is too fit to lie. Hey. <laughs> now we want an apron. The Kuru blanket also, yeah. You have a duffel bag, a tie-dye hoodie. More tumbles, more beanies, bikini top, a one piece swimsuit. <laughs> a neck gaiter, a flag. We could, we could have a flag, guys. Bandana, a sports bra, you know, greeting cards. <laughs> more shoes tactical vests no sadly they don't have tactical vests they have napkins cloth napkins <laughs> wrapping paper iPod case Wine glass. I kind of like the idea of the wine glass. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> what else? A yoga mat. <laughs> How do you have guests bring up the coro cups? <laughs> no! What did Warfa send that got him shot by stream elements? <laughs> Embroidered patches. Put an android. Let's go. That will be amazing, maybe someday. String element was blood for real. They have die cut magnets. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not sure. What. They have magnets and patches. Full leather bomber jacket. Yo, a cool bomber jacket. Imagine. They have socks. <laughs> There's a desk mat. We have the canvas. This guy has crunchies. Backpacks. The blanket. A uh, cork coaster. I'm not. A Entirely sure what that is. What is a cork coaster for? Hawaiian shirt. Mm. Table runner. Placemat set. Custom comic book. Custom hardcover book. Custom sign. But what's a corkboard? Have windbreakers. <laughs> Earrings. They have a, they do have acrylic kitchens and stands. And plushies. 
but the flushes require a minimum of 300 so we'll have to we have to wait until we get we get more people into the into the cult more socks there's the coffee custom coffee blend They have something called a squish blush that it will be perfect for the for the baby baby in my butt version. But also requires a minimum of 500, so. Lapel pins. I also love lapel pins. But yeah, they have a bunch of options. So merch, as I said, merch is incoming. Merch is imminent. Do they have bookends? Sadly not. <laughs> Merch is imminent. But yeah, I managed to talk about merch for so long, guys. How do you how do you get me talking for so long when I have no things to say? How do you guys do it? <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna... No, no, I can't charm the ladies in the crew for bookends. I am so sorry. I shall, I shall look for bookends at some point. <laughs> that would be so funny. I do like the jab, yeah. Sometimes you guys got me going, and now now we're here. Anyway, tomorrow 999. Thursday, I guess instead of Genshin, we'll do Honkai Impact. It was my initial plan, so I am so sorry, Genshin. <laughs> Genshin progress shall be made on another and at another time. <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna be the only schedule, schedule change. That's gonna be the only schedule change for this week. Is Honka Impact instead of Genshin Impact. Still has impact on the name, so... <laughs> and then on Friday, we're doing the YouTube members stream, so be there, YouTube members. We're gonna be playing fast mode. Depending on how many people show up, I might do. I mean, I say that on the, the, the stream anyway. But depending on how many people show up, I might do like, uh, you know, like people jump in and we do like two, two explorations before like having them jump out and have new people join in. Well, it depends on how many, how many people join, you know, if I see there's a lot of people that have the game, uh, I might, I might push it down to one, just one run per person. I mean, not just one per person, but like one, you know, you, you, you jump in one and then you sit out the other. And then after that, you can, you can jump in again <laughs> and so on and so forth. But as I said, we'll see, we'll see. Her tracker going for it. <laughs> That'd be funny. Speaking of maple. We're reading maple. Uh, blah, I have no read message. Go say hi to her, I guess. <laughs> Moose. But yeah, thank you guys for coming, for coming to the company. Uh, I'll stay on the lookout for the merch and I'll see you guys tomorrow on Coco's channel for more 999 hopefully remember that is on Coco's YouTube channel so I will see you over there hi moose hell yeah thank you guys remember to stay safe stay hydrated take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time bye bye Ta -da -da.